Welcome to this video on modals in Sigma. Dashboards can only hold so much before they start feeling cluttered, and that's where modals come in. They give users a way to dive deeper, enter new information, or follow guided steps without ever leaving the same workbook. In this video, we'll cover what modals are and how they work, how to add and configure modals, and how to trigger modals from different elements. To add a modal in the Add Element bar, click Layout, then Modal. You can also add a modal by clicking the downward facing arrow next to the Add page and select Add Modal. By default, Sigma automatically adds a button to open the modal, making setup quick. Modals are designed to be flexible and can be triggered from any clickable element in Sigma, including a table row to display additional information about that record, a chart or point to let users drill into underlying drivers, or custom UI elements like icons and action buttons to guide users through workflows. Just look for the open modal action in your elements action menu. Once you've set up how the modal will open, the next step is structuring its content to support your workflow. You can add or move text, controls, or visuals to help users accomplish their desired tasks. You can even nest modals by having buttons navigate from one modal to the next. Think of modals as like mini workbook pages. By default, Sigma provides a header and footer in each modal, which includes space for a title and buttons. These, along with other display settings, can be customized depending on the design and functionality you're looking for. When used effectively, modals enable users to move smoothly from one step to the next, whether they're exploring underlying drivers of a bar chart or progressing through a workflow in a data application.